Hey everybody, Hertz here. Has Carolina Panthers head coach Matt Rule already written Cam Newton's football eulogy with Sam Darnold returning? We will claw right into it. Stay tuned. Hey, we really appreciate y'all for tuning in. You already know what time it is. Nah, nah. Welcome to the podcast. Go. We gon' keep on pounding, juke them out his cleats, boy, I'm too fast. Go. The field know we gon' spag. CMC gon' run it back. Yeah. Defense out here going crazy, Super Bowl, we want it back. Pause up. Pause up. It's on the us. Hey. Welcome back to the Nine Lives Panthers podcast. This is your first time listening, then thanks for coming. The Nine Lives Panthers podcast and Key Pounding TV premium content is produced every week for your enjoyment. The show notes are found at the bottom of this video. Come back often. Feel free to add our Nine Lives Panthers podcast to your Spotify or iTunes favorites list. You can also find myself or the rest of the cast on Twitter at Nine Lives Panthers Podcast. And we also have a group on Facebook for everyone to come check us out. So there has been increasing friction between Matt Rule, Cam Newton, and us fans in recent weeks. The head coach was quick to throw his quarterback under the butts once again following the Carolina Panthers' defeat at the Buffalo Bills in Week 15, which guarantees another losing season and raises plenty of doubts regarding the current direction of the franchise. Bringing Newton onto the fold was a popular move by the Panthers, and the homecoming hero brought electricity that was sorely missing with Sam Darnold under center. However, it only papered over the team's deficiencies for a short while. The Panthers are now out of playoff contention and face a brutal stretch of games before the season comes to a conclusion. They take on the defending Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers twice with a contest against the New Orleans Saints set for Week 17. Sunday's game against the Bucs is Carolina's last at home. This means it could also be one final chance for the team's loyal fan base to see Newton starting for the Panthers. It's becoming increasingly obvious that David Tepper was the man who wanted Newton back rather than Rule, who released the former NFL MVP initially before signing Teddy Bridgewater and trading for Donald in the first place. Sam Donald's contract could impact Cam Newton's immediate future. Hear me out, Panther Nation. Hear me out. I mean, just think about it. With Darnold now practicing in contention to be considered for a starting berth, once again in the not-too-distant future, Rule was non-committal on who would lead the Panthers this weekend. Although his initial comments regarding Newton seemed very past tense oriented from the outside looking in. You know, in terms of the quarterbacks and all those things, I mean, obviously we'll continue to, to coach Cam and keep, you know, keep uh, keep building off the good things that he's doing. Um, you know, we have PJ here. Um, you know, we'll find out about Sam today and his health. Um, I have, you know, I, I, I'm not going to look into the future, no hypotheticals. Um, uh, if, if Sam is healthy, I'll, we will practice him and see kind of where he's at. I think it's a good opportunity to see, you know, uh, shake some of the rust off him and see where he's at in the process. So uh, I can't speculate in terms of who will be uh, – will be the you know the full-time guy this week um, until I have more information and I think those those tests are today so I should have some clarity you know by the end of the evening Donald is under contract in 2022 after the Panthers picked up his 50 year fifth year option with 18.8 million guaranteed soon after his deal was struck with the New York Jets he is also the man rules placed a significant amount of faith in and after deciding to move on from Bridgewater this offseason. It's going to be extremely difficult to find a trade partner for Darnold. This year's quarterback class isn't up the isn't up to the usual standard. And the Panthers don't have a day two pick currently. Scary. 
another restriction that cannot be overlooked, you know? That's why there is a very real possibility of rule starting Arnold again. Even if it would probably be the tipping point for some fans, given their love and respect for Newton. Let's face it, this is a complex situation. One that Rule and the Panthers brought on themselves. Just where they go from here at the quarterback position remains to be seen. But the Panthers can ill afford any more slip-ups at the most important position on the field. Rule is playing with fire. by even contemplating sending Darnold back out there. However, if he is intent on moving forward with him in 2022, don't be surprised if Newton is relegated to a red zone or short yardage role going forward. He's got it, and Cam Newton hits a wall, then his second effort, touchdown, Carolina! The very least Newton deserves is a proper send-off if this is in fact the end. But it's also worth remembering that Rule has his own future to consider and his comments about the Auburn product this week sound like a eulogy rather than clear confirmation he is the number one. Newton deserves all the credit in the world for taking this gamble. But in truth, nobody's fully sure what comes next except for the looming question going forward. Sam or Cam? Thanks a lot for coming to my school today. No problem, mate. I promise to exercise and eat right. Don't forget 60 minutes of play a day, right? And I'll grow up to be big and strong like you. Absolutely. And play in the NFL. Yes, sir. And be drafted number one. Maybe. And become the starting quarterback of the Panthers. <laughs> okay. You can be my backup. Excuse me? And make Panthers fans forget about you. What? And become your mom's favorite player. Whoa. I'm just loosening my arm. Carolina Panthers head coach Matt Rule showed his cards Wednesday as Sam Donald returned to practice for the first time since being placed on injured reserve with a shoulder injury. Rule said Cam Newton signed after Donald was hurt. Still the starter, but Donald won't be entirely forgotten. Donald, quote-unquote, will play at some point on Sunday versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Rule said, but he must clear all pregame hurdles in practice this week. First, of course. Darnold has been out since a week nine with a shoulder injury with the Panthers going one and four in his absence. Newton was signed by the Panthers on November 12th and has started each of the last four games, but has been ineffective in the passing game. Newton has thrown four touchdowns and four interceptions in his five appearances for the Panthers this season. He has also rushed for five touchdowns, but has coughed up four fumbles in his last two games. The Panthers are just 5-9 and nine and guaranteed to finish with a fourth consecutive losing season. Hmm. What do you guys think? Let us know. We would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. And Panther Nation, always remember to keep pounding. Hey, we really appreciate y'all for tuning in. You already know what time it is. Nah, nah. Welcome to the podcast. We gon' keep on pounding. Juke them out his cleats. Boy, I'm too fast. Get the field, no, we gon' spag. CMC gon' run it back. Defense out here going crazy. Super Bowl, we want it back. Pause up. up. It's only us. At the top. It's time to rock. No, we won't stop. Open it up. I need that block. I got key yeah. with me. Cold yeah. with me. Hurts yeah. with me. Kill yeah. with me. Big cat ain't gon' know where you gotta deal with yeah. me. Carolina, 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 Carolina,